tired everybody so the other day i was on live aquaria and on the diver's den and i spotted a a tuxedo urchin that i just really wanted for well, i wanted it for my tank my big tank really but it's going to go in my son's tank it was uh the coloration of it i've never seen before so i wanted to get it and check it out the other thing that i ordered is a uh clam it was a tridacna clams or whatever the crochet um some people will argue this and say that this tank is not aged enough to have a clam we're gonna check it out and see um the thing is that i transferred the water from the previous tank now, i know this one's only been going a couple weeks but it's for the most part is cycled and all the parameters are good but the other thing is years ago i had a another 100 gallon tank running and i added a clam to it and as well as inverts before i did any fish and i added that stuff to it two weeks in and i had that clam for six years uh, i never had an issue with it i like clams because they feed off the water column as well as use photosynthesis from lights but i like clams because in my experience and i've only had the one but they seem to favor somewhat dirtier water in one sense and they do a lot of filtering of the water for you i had somebody years ago that told me that and said you know i you know i had kind of high phosphates and things like that and i put a clam in there and never had any issues again said you know they kind of were like a workhorse and uh almost filtered out the water a lot for them so i gotta clean the glass on this tank sorry for the glass being dirty i'll try to do that later today um I'm kind of just doing this on my lunch break. So anyway, I'm going to show you, basically, I do a little setup for a clam. And it's my understanding they don't like a lot of flow. Um, before, I just sat it on some rock that was on the very bottom. But in this tank, I'm not sure that it'll get enough light if I sit it down there. I thought about sitting it up here on this little ledge. Uh, might have to move uh, that AI pump a little bit so it's not pushing so much water near it. But we'll see. I'll kind of figure that out and kind of see where it's best to place it in here. It's a very interesting configuration for this rock work in a, almost like a tree form. But I, I did want it kind of stacked all the way to the top and I put it together and then of course my son looked at it and he said yeah i like it like that so it has stayed like that since uh, i wasn't pleased with it and wanted to change it but this is his tank and he said to leave it so that's what i've done anyway rambling on enough i've got that other urchin in there you can see that guy up there i love those little short spine the pin cushion or whatever urchins i'm not really as big a fan of the long spine um but I like these, uh, not necessarily smaller ones because they get a lot bigger, but I've, I've had a lot of them before. I just like them. I think they look cool and I uh, think they do a pretty decent job of uh, part of the cleanup crew. Anyway, uh, so I've got the new urchin and then the clam in the bag uh, kind of setting up over here at the side. So what I do is uh, I'll, they've been sitting in temperature acclimating for a while. Uh, I'll move them over and start acclimating them. But the clam, what I'll do is I'll put it in this bowl with the water it came in and then take a toothbrush and scrub the shell really well, get it all cleaned off in case there's any hitchhikers on it. Um, it's always been my understanding that uh, you don't want to um, put clams in any kind of dip. 
So I'm not doing that. And like I said, my experience, I've only had one clam before, but I had it, I believe about six years. So, I mean, I never had any issues with it. Some people say they're harder to keep. Some people say they're super easy. I never did have to do anything that one. I, I think you get the right lighting over it. And, uh, you know, I put some phytoplankton in there. But other than that, I know some people say they uh, feed them directly and, or target feed them and all that type stuff. But I never did fool with that and never had any issues. So I saw this one on Diver's Den. It looks really cool. So I went ahead and ordered it. Um, we'll see how it does in this tank. So it's going to be, I've never had one in a smaller tank like this. That's why I went with the, uh, the Crocia, I guess you say it, instead of the Maxim. Because the Crocia is a smaller, I don't want to say like dwarf clam really, but it, it stays smaller. I think they get like six inches or something like that, four to six inches. Whereas the Maxim, I mean, I think those suckers can get upwards of 12 inches. Um, so I got the smaller. Uh, I had a Maxim clam before. Um, so we'll see what the, I, I think it's somewhat the i'm not sure how the family structure works with these clams and like i said i'm not you know i don't know everything about them or anything my experience is just having the one but we're going to try it and see how it does in this tank so let me get out of the bag and get it scrubbed off and i'll show you what it looks like all right so this guy is pretty small it's like a little over an inch um but i took the toothbrush and i've kind of scrubbed it off pretty well um it's little stringers are attached to those pieces of rubble so i'm going to leave those on there and uh we'll move it over to the tank all right so there we have the urchin so he's white and has like purple spikes to him I've never seen one that coloration, so it just looked really cool. So I had to have it. Of course, it's a lot larger than the other one that we have, but it just looks so nice. All right, so I put the clam up on that ledge and uh, kind of watch him and see how it does today. Usually it takes, from what I've read, I, my the last clam that I had, like I said, I stuck him on the bottom and he did fine, so I never moved him. But most of the things I read said it can take two to three days for them to kind of attach themselves. So... I think right here, like I don't, I put my hand right there and there's not really like any direct flow hitting him. Uh, most of that water kind of goes behind the rocks. So I wanted a spot where he would be in the light to get plenty of light. I've never used until now, I've never used these AIs before. Right now I have it running at 50% power. So, We'll kind of watch him for two or three days, see how he does. Um, doesn't look like he's doing good. Then uh, might either try to move him if he hadn't attached yet or uh, try to increase the light, which I'll probably increase the light slowly anyway. Because I know, you know, I've, I've read things saying the smaller ones um, not only need some more light, but they need like regular feeding as well. So we'll see. We'll see how he does. And I'll do an update later to let you know. Uh, originally, I was basically just gonna do fish only and uh, you know, a few cleanup crew or inverts in this tank. But uh, my son has seen a lot of these videos, so probably start putting some corals in here. And that probably means that I'll start dosing in this as well.
but stay tuned and I'll let you know what we do next. Thanks for watching.